Hello, this is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion for Sunday, April the 25th. Here's the word of the Lord. We are reading from chapter 10 of Hebrews, verses 19 through 25. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way open for us through the curtain, that is, his body, and since we have a great priest over the house of the Lord, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with the full assurance that faith brings having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope that we profess, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. This is the word of the Lord. Our article for today by Pastor Jason Sam Bloom is entitled Straight Ahead. Here's what he writes. I have seen my fair share of deer crossing the road in front of me while driving. On one evening, driving down a country road in southwest Michigan, I caught sight of a deer only as a brown flash leaping over the front of my car. The rule of thumb when surprised by a deer is to go ahead and hit the deer. If you can't break in time while remaining in your lane, go ahead and hit the deer. This competes with our natural instinct to veer away and avoid an accident but there is more danger in swerving than actually hitting it. It's a response you almost have to rehearse. Keep the steering wheel straight ahead, don't swerve. The perils, uncertainties, and surprises of life circumstances can also trigger our natural instinct to deviate from course. Doubts flood our mind. Disappointments, loss, anxiety, and fear can leap out in front of us. Even our own apathy and boredom can seek to derail us. Will you rehearse the faith? Hold on unswervingly to hope and stay in the lane? Moving through these barriers with the one who is faithful is less dangerous and more fulfilling. Lewis E. Jones wrote the hymn for today, I've Anchored in Jesus. Upon life's boundless ocean where mighty billows roll, I fix my hope in Jesus, blessed anchor of my soul. And in Psalm chapter 113, verses 7 and 8, we read, He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap. He seats them with princes, with the princes of his people. And this is your daily devotion for Sunday, April the 25th. Have a blessed day.